This is the time of the year where it really starts to get busy in the tropics. So the four most important words here are, it only takes one. Noah was like, y'all better build an ark or get ready to find high ground because hurricane season is going to be hairy. And by hairy, I mean wet. Oh, man. I'm trying to be like all super sciencey reputable and shit, dickweed. We are in store for a mega monster, super active hurricane season. Ladies and gentlemen, Noah has moved the goalposts the last time this year. Go ahead and celebrate. Yep, that's right. There's an update to the hurricane season forecast put out by Colorado State University, and it's actually calling for more hurricanes this year. Get your hurricane pom-poms, bitches. We've got a video message. I'm going to have to science the shit out of this. Hit the button, baby. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents... Welcome to Asteroid Fight Club. I'm your host, Thor. Today we have... What do you remember? You remember Hurricane Matthew, right? Because this is one that uh, had some pretty uh, serious impacts. Killed a lot of people in the Carolinas from the flooding. Evidence for a changing climate abounds from the top of the atmosphere to the depths of the ocean. We have now reached the point before Atlantic hurricane season where everybody has pretty much locked in their forecasts. And so we sit back and we wait and we watch and we see how all these numbers do. So it's prime time from now until the end of the season. Here's the secret about all these numbers. They don't matter at all. Literally none of this stuff matters at all. The only thing that matters is that if you live in an area that can get hit by a hurricane from the Atlantic, you got to be prepared and you just pay attention to the forecasts. But as much as we know about hurricanes, forecasting them is still a challenge. And hurricane season includes waves, tropical depressions, low pressure systems, hybrid tropical storm, hurricane, cyclone, typhoon, monster systems, and tropical storms. Did I already mention that one? So yes, in May, they were like, yo, we're going to get 11 to 17 named storms and two to four major hurricanes. And in August, they were like, yo, we're going to get 14 to 19 named storms, five to nine hurricanes, and two to five of them being major, man, which is 100 to 170% of median average, which means at the very least, the minimum this season can be is average and the maximum it can be is WTF. NOAA issued the final Atlantic hurricane season forecast on Wednesday, calling for 14 to 19 named storms, five to nine hurricanes, and two to five of them being major hurricanes. The ACE index, it stands for accumulated cyclone energy. ACE at 100% to 170%, the median, including the ACE from the six named storms to date. If we take the midpoint of these numbers, the forecast is for 16.5 named storms, seven hurricanes, 3.5 major hurricanes. An average Atlantic hurricane season produces 12 named storms, of which six become hurricanes, including three major hurricanes. The midpoint numbers in the latest NOAA outlook compare 14 named storms seven hurricanes and three major hurricanes for the original 2017 outlook all right so at some point the pattern in the pacific is going to switch to the atlantic and things are going to get nasty we have so much tropical action going on in the pacific right now it's ridiculous uh, eight tropical cyclones on the radar at once here's a look at the first batch we have fernanda greg tenny and nine e we also had in the pacific sanka roke noru and Kulap. Have you ever heard of the Fujiwara effect? Now, the Fujiwara effect is when two cyclones rotate around each other. Basically, I guess they figure the Fujiwara name is a lot less scary sounding than a binary hurricane. This is weird. This is odd. This is different. This is not normal. This is rare. You better be ready. You better be prepared. But don't be scared. No fear here. No fear there. You know, just a little bit of planning. And just enough worry to be like, oh my God, we got to do something. We got to come together as one American people. Or you guys can just argue about stupid shit, not deal with shit. All right, fantastic. This is exciting. Yes, it is. That's it. Yeah, we got active situations in the Atlantic and Pacific. But I'll update that for you guys a little bit later. Peace out. Ladies and gentlemen, Noah has moved the goalposts the last time this year. Go ahead and celebrate. Yep, that's right. This doesn't mean this will come true. This is their prediction for this year. It's going to get a lot more hurricane-y than we originally thought. And it's like, well, we thought it was going to zig, but it zagged. We're moving the goalpost, bro. Just thought we'd let you know. Noah updated its Atlantic hurricane season outlook and said there's a high probability of holy sh WTF is going on with these hurricanes. And once it is strong enough to become a hurricane, you have five categories. 
The impact of climate change is dangerous, and it is already being felt in the United States. That is according to a new government report. Just as we name each storm, each storm has its own personality. And there's a look at the names, by the way, in case you're wondering. Now, don't get too married to these numbers. I don't really think they matter all that much. It only takes one. Remember that. You remember Matthew that we had last year? From outer space, hurricanes are a beautiful sight to behold. When was the last time you can remember saying, hey, did you know? There are multiple groups of binary hurricanes in the ocean right now. They're probably going to do this thing called the Fujiwara effect. You can literally see like the gravitational waves, or gravity waves, whatever you want to call it, that are in our two binary hurricanes. Check out that lightning. This was all thanks to Hurricane Dora. Now, it's not very often we see lightning during a hurricane. So you see, there are actually many aspects of hurricanes, each with their own characteristics and threats. The whole point is this. The sun has been freaking out. The weather has been freaking out. And now all the pro weather people are like, hey, remember when we said hurricane season was going to be um, active? Well, now we changed it to hurricane season is going to be really active. So I'm just letting you know, man. Alrighty. This is a Thor News presentation. Stay cool.